What's going on guys? It's Josh with Weekend Wanderers. Today we're headed to Bankhead National Forest. I'm going to test out my new rooftop tent. It's the Pike 2 from Body Armor 4x4. I'm really looking forward to this trip and looking forward to testing this tent out. So stay tuned. Bankhead National Forest is one of four national forests in Alabama and is a little bit over 180,000 acres. This trip focused mainly on the Brushy Lake Recreational Area and the Forest Service Road surrounding it. The majority of the fire service roads are fairly well maintained, but there are some washouts and a couple ruts to plan along the way. Nothing crazy there. After a couple hours of cruising fire service roads and taking pictures, I decided to find a camp and was able to find this little pull off off one of the main fire service roads. It was time to test out the tent. After the tent was set up, it was time to get a fire going and get dinner on the grill. Morning guys, so uh, made it through the night in the Pike 2 and I really, really like it. Um, it was a real easy setup. It's very comfortable. The material the materials are great. Um, the mattress could use an upgrade. It's only two and a half inches uh, thick. If you're a back sleeper or stomach sleeper, I don't think it's really an issue because you're kind of dispersing your, your weight, but I sleep on my side and my hip bone and my shoulder were kind of creating some pressure points and it was causing me to shift through the night. But other than that, this tent is really, really comfortable. I ended up taking the rain guard and pushing it back and leaving this open all night um, just with the bug mesh and it brought in a real nice breeze and I was, <clears throat> I was comfortable all night long temperature wise. I brought a sleeping bag because it was down in the 50s 
and actually all I had to use was my Kajaro camp quilt and I was comfortable all night long. Um, so I definitely recommend this as a budget rooftop tent for you guys. It fits great on the Subaru Crosstrek. It's only 108 pounds. It's the size of a small child when it comes to weight on your vehicle. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. After packing everything up and eating a quick breakfast, I got back on the trail and continued to explore the area around Brushy Lake. According to the Gaia app, I did about 19 miles the first day and 12 miles the second day. It was nice just to cruise and explore a new area. Alright, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said, I just wanted to give you a quick first impression on this tent. I'm going to do a full review later once I have a few night stays under my belt. So just stay tuned for that. I really appreciate the continuous support for the channel and thank you guys for watching. As always, just please hit like and subscribe and be safe out there and happy trails.